Okay, so first of all, let me welcome you to Cairo, which is the capital of Egypt, which have an amazing location in the north, east from Africa, in the amazing corner in between the two great uh, sea, the Mediterranean to the north and to the east, it will be the Red Sea. We are in one of the tourist attractions over here in Egypt, which it will be the National Museum of the Egyptian Civilization. This is museum, we opened it about last year over here, and it will be one of the best locations where you can find an, a, a collection of the Egyptian history from the beginning of the prehistorical ages until we see in the modern life. Even the new hall, which we open for the textiling, it will be also a good place to have an idea about how the ancient Egyptian, they started their actually clothes made and the development and the evolution of this is a textiling uh, pre industrial in ancient Egypt. The location of this museum, it will be nearby the area which is very famous by the name of Old Cairo, and it's overlooking to the Mukattam mountain, one of the sources for the limestone, which we use it to cut the limestone to be used for the pyramids belt. This is the National Museum of the Egyptian Civilization. Hope to come to see it soon and wish you all the best. Ξεναγός μας, ο Ιμάντ, ο οποίος θα σας πει, θα κάνει μια εισαγωγή την οποία και θα μεταφράσω όσον αφορά το μουσείο στο οποίο βρισκόμαστε. Dear Ιμάντ, I want to thank you very much for your uh, perfect tour that you made to us inside the museum and I will also like to tell us about the news that you didn't tell us before. Okay, we forget inside when we were talking about the containers which we can see in it and visit over here in the Egyptian Museum, the National Museum of the Egyptian Civilization, that it is the only place where you can find 20 king and queens we are considered from the greatest ones will be kept in the basement of this is museum. Over here you can find the great king Ramses II, the great king City first and the king Mary in Beta, the son of the king Ramses the second also the king Tutmut the third and the king Tutmut the second and the queen Hatshepsut all this is king and queen they are together waiting for everyone come looking for them they are waiting with the Egyptian hospitality so we hope all you all the best and waiting to see you soon in the National Museum of the Egyptian Civilization thank you we go Κυρίε και κύριοι, βρισκόμαστε στο τζαμί του Μοχάμετ Άλι και ο ξεναγό μα θα μα πει τι ακριβώ βρίσκεται εδώ. Οκ, we get back again to talking to you about the Egyptian beautiful tourist attraction over here in Cairo. And the next stop over here, it will be overlooking to one of the most beautiful mosques which you can see it over here in Egypt, which is the Alabaster Mosque of Muhammad Ali. This is mosque is located inside the fortress of Saladin, which did back again to the 12th century AD. The mosque, as everyone knows, that it did back again to the beginning of the 19th century AD, or exactly 1830, we started to build this is mosque, and it had been actually finished after Muhammad Ali died, with about seven years. The mosque from in and out, it had been covered by alabaster casing layer. This is why it's very common to call it the alabaster mosque. And from inside, when we go inside, we are going to see a beautiful style of decoration. It has been imported to Egypt by the Ottoman architecture who designed and built the mosque. So we are waiting to see you over here inside the Alabaster Mosque of Muhammad Ali in the fortress of Saladin. Thank you. Back again to talking to you about the beautiful place where we are in the fortress of Saladin, which is the Alabaster Mosque of Muhammad Ali. We're talking about the mosque from outside when we was overlooking to the feast of the mosque. And we're talking about the location that it was located in Cairo over here. And from inside, we are going to see that the first part from the two parts of the mosque, it is the open courtyard where we can find the fountain which we used for the purification before we get into the prey. Where is the beautiful tower of the Muslims' art, which we call it Menorahs, and where is the beautiful boat of the clock, which we have it into the tower over here, which we get from the king which believed to Muhammad Ali. All of this is contained to the open courtyard which we have it. Again, we've seen that the wall of the mosque from in and out covered by a casing layer of alabaster, which became actually, which we drive the name of the mosque to be called the Alabaster Mosque of Muhammad Ali. 
Thank you and we'll see you again when we get inside the prayer area house. for the Nasser Sultan Mohammed in the Palawan and the other Συνεχίζουμε την περιήγησή μας στην Αίγυπτο. Αυτή τη στιγμή βρισκόμαστε στην πόλη της Αλεξάνδρειας, τη γνωστή πόλη. Θα σας πω περισσότερα ε, αμέσως μετά το κλείσιμο της πόλης. Αυτή τη στιγμή δεν θέλω να καθυστερήσω τον ταξιοδιωτικό οδηγό μας, ο οποίος θα μας πει τι ακριβώς βλέπουμε εδώ στις κατακόμβες. Οκ. Welcome, καλημέρα, from home, Shukafa, Katakom. Home, Shukafa, is meaning the mountain of pottery. Second, the Roman tradition, because as this place was the main place for burying the bodies, the necropolis of the Roman in the western side of Alexandria, they used in regular occasion to visit their dead in the necropolis, bringing with them their food. It was bad luck to turn back home with the container of food, then they used it to leave it here. Was uh, cleaned by the servant of the area, with the going of the time formed like a mountain of pottery. For this reason, the Arabs later called the area Qom Shukafa, the mountain of pottery. Here in this area, they discovered the main tomb in 1900 by a mere chance. When a donkey a drawing a cart fell in the bed, when they stopped to help the donkey, they found the main shaft. The entrance of the tomb is taking the shape of the staircase going down in the very big uh, tomb cut in the rock in three floors. We visited it from inside. We saw a lot of combination between Egyptian Greek and the Roman style in painting. We saw the famous Egyptian nail capitals, floral capital. We saw the heads of the Medusa. It was like a Roman symbol. And we saw how the ceiling is cut like a shell. It was like a Roman symbol of goddess Venus, goddess of the beauty, love, joy, and the music. We visited from inside the main burial room. We saw the three recesses containing three sarcophagus for the governor of Alexandria and his wife and his son. And surrounding the main burial room, we visited the famous narrow passages where are located the famous localis, holes to house to put inside the sarcophagus containing human bodies. 
This tomb was exclusive for Roman, Roman style, not for Egyptian. But Roman, a lot of them preferred to continue the Egyptian tradition of the mummification. They believed that they like Egyptian after the death, the beginning of an eternal life. After that, we went up to the second floor where we finished in the famous Caracalla Hole. We found a lot of bones, bigger than the human bones. Maybe these bones are belonged to horses who won races. They loved by Romans in the order to be buried with them. And we visit the bottom of the main shaft and we understand now how they were receiving the bodies, laying it down by cords to be systematic inside the locals. And we are here next to a tomb found in 1952, dating back to the fourth century, the tomb of Tigran. The, the difference between this tomb and the big one, the main one, this one is painted, the another one is cut in the roof. Now we are going to see another side ceiling, Bombay's pillar. Mm -hmm. Okay, welcome to the famous Siradium Temple. It was one of the biggest temples around the Mediterranean Sea, erected in honor of the famous Triad of Alexandria. This triad was invented by the famous Ptolemy, son of Lagos, one of the generals of Alexander the Great, when he wanted to come in between Egyptians and the Greeks in one call. So he made a committee. And the chief of this committee is the Egyptian high priest, uh, Maniton, representing the Egyptian, Simosis, the Greek high priest to represent the Greeks. Finally, they reached to the reason to compose, to create a new triad accepted by both sides, Egyptian and the Greeks, was consisting of one three elements. The father, God, his name is Rabis, was represented in two figures. First figure as an animal figure, as a secret bull, accepted by Egyptian. The uh, human figure was represented like a man in the Middle Ages, with a long beard and a long hair with a Greek style and the feature to be accepted by Greeks to put an end to the civil war. Here we have, in, we are in the Acropolis. Acropolis is meaning a high hill to establish the temple. After the foundation of Alexandria, this area was called Acropolis. On this Acropolis, we built the famous Serapium Temple. Here we are under the famous Pompeii pillar. It is an enormous pillar from red granite with a height of 28 meters. Wrongly named Pompeii's pillar for the soul said, the ages of Pompeii, the famous Roman general, were preserved in the face at the top of the pillar. But when the upper part of the base feet, we can see the upper part of the base, they found in Greek texts very old when they translated it, it says to the most just, just emperor, the protector of Alexandria, the invincible declaration. Then this pillar must have been erected after the year 292 in honor of the famous Roman emperor declaration. Here we have some ruins, some statues like two sphinxes dating to the time of the Greeks, Ptolemies, 196 Ptolemies, uh, sculpted out of Rombink granite. And here we have some cisterns dating back to the time of Romans. Till now they discovered all the cisterns to bring the water enough for the daily use inside the temple. It was one of the biggest around all the Mediterranean Sea, but was the beginning of the time of Arab rule. We used it to take the six tons, million of tons, for the construction of mosques, royal palaces, and the enclosure wall around the city. As you see, this is all which is left from the temple. Thank you, my friends. Uh, uh, the fortress of Kai Bay. Kai Bay, in was... Alexandria, and Abdul will tell us why he was able to build this castle in the city of Alexandria. Abdul. Uh, here was located in the ancient time, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. 
Here was located the famous Alexandria Lighthouse. Remained intact till the year 700 AD, 50 years after the invasion of Arabs of Egypt. But a strong earthquake in 980 was responsible for the collapsing of the statue of Poseidon, the god of the sea in Greek mythology, and the dome. Another strong earthquake in the year 1420 was responsible for the collapsing of the whole building. In the year 477, the Mameluk Sultan Al Ashraf Abu Nasr Kaidbai. He used the stones that had fallen from the pyramids and from the Alexandria Lighthouse for the construction of his fortress to be the first lion coastal wall defense. Wall defense against the Turkish who threatened Alexandria and Egypt several times from the direction of the sea. Finally, they succeeded in invading Egypt in 1517 by the famous Turkish invader Selim I to put an end to the Mamluk rule to start the Turkish Empire rule in Egypt.